Hi guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is a very special and one of the most demanded videos going to be on my channel because I have with me two Christites who are uh, pursuing and almost towards the end of their masters in economics. We will be using this opportunity to converse with them and talk to them about economics in general, uh, about the course, how you got in, what all has been your experience like in the course and all of that so without any further ado let's get started thank you so much aditi and devangshi for joining on this call so thank you for taking your time off you guys can please introduce yourself you go first aditi uh, so hello everyone my name is aditi nanoti and currently i am in the final year of masters in applied economics and i'm also pursuing an internship as a research analyst in world five venture capital right so my name is Dibangshi and I'm also in my final year but I'm pursuing a different course. I'm in MA Economics CVCS and I'm also working as a finance educator in, in an edtech company called Bright Chance. So yeah, I'm doing both currently. Wow, great. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, You guys are working and interning and almost towards the end of your course. Before I get to know about your plans or whatever you have after the course, uh, quickly if you guys could tell me what was your reasoning and you know one or two pointers or why did you basically choose Christ University and this particular course? So yeah, Dibangshi. Uh, I think that I was, I mean I was very sure that I'll go for masters after I am done with my bachelors. I was uh, applying in multiple places to be honest. But, but then I think Christ was very fast with its you know process of starting the course. Others were delaying and everything. So they started, they also started with the exam. They started, you know, everything was going very fast. So it felt like, you know, I'll be in the process way faster if I go for this one. And this course particularly, honestly, I was not aware of another course being there of applied. So I went for this. But then uh, for me, the timings are very flexible. Ours is 6.30 to 8.30 in the morning and 6.30 to 8.30 in the evening. So I think that was a very convenient timing to go for. I could work, I mean, work and also say prepare for other exams. So I think this course really worked for me because of the timing, flexibility to make that. So I think like Debangshi, I was also very sure that I have to pursue masters in economics and you know, it, there was this time when the pandemic was like, you know, very widespread. So there was a lot of uncertainty as well. So I was also trying to, you know, apply in multiple colleges and see what works out the best. But uh, I think I appeared for the Christ entrance process, like the very first. And uh, I had an inclination towards the Christ course, like from the start. And, you know, with like coverages, videos on YouTube, right? I was like, kind of, I had the soft corner for Christ. So, but uh, yeah, coming to the serious part, uh, I think the course that Christ offers for economics is, you know, very vast. It has like all the electives. Plus you also get to study the add-on courses, like, you know, business analytics and programming. So that was a huge plus. And uh, so I, with the guidance of coverage through the personal interview sessions and, you know, the interactions that I had with coverage, I got the clarity that, yeah, Christ works the best for me. Yes, I, I very well remember Aditi, like a couple of years back when I saw you for the personal guidance and doubt clearing and then later on for interview preparation 101. Uh, we, you know, we, like at least for the personal guidance and doubt clearing, I remember we had like a proper list of what all colleges you right. should apply and all of that. And you're doing MBA versus uh, MA in economics, all that. But because you both mentioned and just like I'm pretty sure curiosity of everybody who's watching this video, what were the other colleges? Colleges on list that you uh, were looking at for an MA or Masters in Economics. So, Devakshi, what was on your list? I think the obvious choices initially came was JNU, DSC. You know, also I applied for uh, Gok Hill for I mean Gok Hill, which is in Pune. I even got there, but I did not get the course I was looking at. I wanted finance. I did not get that. So, uh, I think Hyderabad University. So I think ISI, yeah, I mean all the normal top colleges which comes to your mind, that was there in my list. I did not even appear for DU and JNU honestly. No, JNU I think I appeared for one paper because after I got into Christ, our course started, you know, with a very high speed and then they called us for offline exams as well. And I was happy with that because they were at least trying to make it offline. I mean, it wasn't online. We were having proper classes. I was happy with the pace. So I think I was like, no, I won't go for anything else. This is perfect for me. Got it. Aditi, I know your list of what all colleges you are applying, but again, for the curiosity of everybody, uh, please set it up. 
so i also appeared for the msc in economic courses uh, those were in uh, symbiosis nm ims and uh, also gip that is gokhale institute of political science and economics and i also got into symbiosis and nm ims but i chose to uh, go with ma instead of msc because i had ba as my bachelor's degree so i thought it made more sense to go with them yeah. right okay now that you both are towards the end of the course here at christ so how has the overall experience been um and i mean we'll get to like the disadvantages and all that later but in terms of i know one of the things that you told me that your time the bangshi is completely different like you know yours is just a uh, four hours a day that two two hours in the morning two hours in the evening so yeah how has your experience been and same for you aditi like how has it been like overall so um actually our class our class timings are from 9 am to 4 pm and we have like uh, six lectures a day so naturally it's very hectic um given six lectures and you know those many hours and plus we do not have weekends off so we also have college on saturday even though they call it a half day we have classes till 1 pm so not much of a difference so yeah it has been pretty hectic but i would say that christ actually lives up to your expectations when it comes to the quality of teaching you know faculties the way the course is designed and what it has to offer in terms of you know practical exposure so i think christ lives up to that so yeah it has been amazing okay what about you devamshi like 4 hours a day yeah i think for me as well i mean obviously my timings are way more flexible hectic is not the word i can use but then it is hectic in a way i see because their uh, exams are like after every 6 months there are semesters we have trimesters like after every 3 months we have exams and every month we have different cias so it's like they we, they cover the same amount of syllabus in 3 months for each paper so as is hectic in a way that you know we need to do a lot of self study naturally because our timings are less for college hours but then i think for me also overall experience has been great because you know the faculty like she mentioned is great top notch and then at the same time they give i i mean i think there's a a uh, space for personal growth you can approach the professors for your own research proposals you can talk about it i mean you can also give your own inputs in class if you are having attending a class you are like you know so can you teach us this 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 thing they will i mean more i mean you know customize according to your your uh, say wants and needs so i think that's a good thing my overall experience has been great here i'm very satisfied with the two years to be honest obviously there are certain disadvantages we'll talk about that but then other than that overall i'm very satisfied yeah i think one more thing was that you know i did watch your videos and one great thing about christ i think you did not mention is the campus the campus is beautiful i mean uh, yeah the campus is beautiful and you know i did watch that from your videos and i was like okay this is great and it is great the canteens are great the ambience is great and specifically for my timing if you go at 6:30 in the morning and 6:30 in the evening it's like you know it's normally it's, it's like you have the you busy. have the best hours of christ 9 to 4 is not the best hour you just see like no, huge no, amount of christ yeah right we are like the early hours the time, yeah. very peaceful it's like people are playing football this side it's like it's like a vacation spot in the morning and right. in the evening yeah. it's great campus is great okay that's great Yeah so this has been all very good now if you could tell me like two reasons uh, or what are the two disadvantages of your particular course or what all you don't like what would it be um i think you know in terms of number of subjects that are being offered right so we have like four core subjects two electives one add on course and one hed also that they have added and although you don't have to study much for it but sometimes it gets a lot you know because they have tried a lot to make the course as vast as possible so that you get to learn everything from all the sub disciplines of the economics but uh, you know at the same times when it comes to submitting cias and all the deadlines are very tight and you have to like kind of adhere to the deadlines and they are also very demanding in terms of you know the quality of the work that you submit so you cannot be lax you cannot plagiarize or something so you know you need to maintain that quality and you have to deliver it in you know certain stipulated deadline so it becomes very taxing sometimes because it, you know there are times when you have all the submission deadlines in the same on the same day and then you have some assignment pending 
and there will always be some <laughs> typical typical Christ thing to. typical Christ thing I guess yeah, yeah. that's true so yeah that's the disadvantage okay what about you Devangshi something different I think uh, the thing she mentioned is like very relatable for every Christ type any course yeah. you talk about and same <laughs> for us and even worse in a way for us because like I said because of the timings it's like within 3 months you're covering the same amount of syllabus another specific to our course I will say you know like she, uh, she mentioned you know they've tried to incorporate everything but for us we can only select electives that are being offered for that trimester so that way we do miss out on electives that we may want but then you know that will be not uh, offered during our time period so that is one disadvantage another for our course Aditi will relate to this although that's changing but then you know we as CBCS people we were not much incorporated in the cultural activities we were not a part of clubs we were not a part of Amartya as well but then now thanks to them they are like a great batch <laughs> they have you know they for every single thing they approach us and I, I'm very good friends with them so I mean so it's like this is changing we are being incorporated now it's like we are at equal stage but the, initially that was a problem so any, but, if you ask any uh, CPS person that right. a problem. but I think that would also be because uh, you just have like four hours of classes so after that like in the morning after yeah. that some people would go for internships jobs and like you know uh, all of those things right I think that's the thing. So initially when this course was, I mean, our course was designed, that was for walking people. But right. that changed because even people, I mean, at our age who wanted to do internship and pursue masters, they were like, yeah, we are doing internship, but then we also we want to part of, you know, fairs and this cultural activities include us. So they were not, and that was not possible because I think because of the timing, we do not get to meet them at all. So, sure. but then of course we, you know, we expressed our grievances they accepted that and now I mean now it, everything is sorted that's not right. this I don't any more okay uh, guys I just have two more questions before I let you go number one and I guess this is another very hotly demanded question which is what's the scene with placements because like you know masters you guys have invested your time some very important years of your life and a good amount of money so uh, how has the placements been like Aditi I'm pretty sure like you people have been on the cycle because you guys are anyways completing your masters now so how, what has been the average placement of the badge which all good companies have come or are there people who've not gotten placed so what's the scene like so um, right when you actually enter the final year of masters the companies start coming in for placements so placements right begin right from June itself and uh, there is this, um, you know, initial process where they prepare the placement brochure, which is circulated with the, um, you know, leading companies. And uh, they also take um, a lot of, you know, um, information regarding your skill sets, your interests. And then uh, you kind of appear for the companies based on your interests um, and skill set. And uh, so we, all the leading companies, like uh, the first company, me to visit us was the math company, Gartner, uh, you know, PwC, Deloitte, India, Deloitte, USI, Ken Research. So all these companies have been coming in and they are also selecting a good number of students from both the batches of uh, masters in economics. Yeah, by the way, congratulations, Aditi. I know you've been placed. So which company have you been placed? Uh, I've been placed in Deloitte, India, and uh, I've been placed as a senior executive in Global Transfer Crisis. Wow, that's fancy. What about you, Devangshi? Yeah, I think that's a good question to ask in front of Aditi because I have been placed in the same thing. We are the two people who have been placed from our batch. Oh, wow, congratulations. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, in Deloitte, as senior executive in transfer pricing. So, yeah, I mean, that's a Great. good question to ask. Yeah, actually, I, I also had like a talk with your senior batch because a couple of my batchmates were there and I, I know a good amount of companies have come and a lot of people have been actually placed not in fact a lot I think everybody who sat in for the placements got placed eventually for your senior batch so there was Goldman Sachs and all of those that came in so which is pretty good last question guys uh, which is that see this video would be watched by a lot of people who are looking to be applying or pursuing this particular course at Christ so if you have to give them two to three pointers in terms of their preparation of getting into Christ, whether it's for the interviews or the micro presentations or the entrance test, what would be your quick pointers to tell them that, hey, take care of this, note this, be here, do that. Uh, that would really help them in their preparation because, you know, admissions are around the corner for your junior batches. So what would it be, Devangshi? Go for it. Yeah, I think uh, 
if they are applying for my course that is you know CBCS one patent question that is being asked you know they definitely face this question is you know what will you do with the free hours yeah uh, what will you do with the free hours so i think that's the answer they should be prepared with and also that's the answer answer not you know not just for interview for themselves, themselves also they should yeah. be prepared with that right because that is a very important thing that what you're going to do and they should be clear you know am i preparing for some exam am i preparing for some job am i doing some internship so i think they should be clear in their head if they if they are applying what they're going to do that's one thing another i think for any interview that applies you know don't be nervous and you know it's like uh, i think a tip from my end will be prepare any one subject very nicely i mean we have micro macro we have maths we have research we have lot of things prepare be you know any one paper should be your strong suit i mean if even if you are not great at all the answers they should know that you have prepared for this it's not like i'm applying for 10 things this is just a part of it make sure that you know i prepared specifically for this as well and i'm strong at at least one paper i think that will be a tip from my end great aditi what about you so i think the best and the easiest way to go with the entrance process is you know to get coverage is personal <laughs> guidance sessions because uh, because like he is very well versed with the entire process and he's been guiding students since a couple of years so i think that actually you know helps you with it and uh, he also gives you like you know advice on where you can improve and how you can you know increase your chances into getting into christ yeah. and uh, secondly i would like to break down the interview process in two parts first is the uh, personal interview session and then there is the micro presentation yeah so personal interview session is more about you know why do you want to pursue this course how does it help you with your future goals and it will mainly test your knowledge that you gained in bachelors right no no that's very true in fact devanshi whatever you said right i've trained by the way so many people from your batch uh, and i definitely in all my interview preparation one one i used to do ask them this question that hey what is it that you're going to be doing in this remaining free time and it's ideally very important specifically i think for masters one is a technical bit yeah. of it they want to know how good is your knowledge with economics but at the same time they want to know what's your plan ahead you know because hey masters is no yeah. hunky dory like you know it's not here for fun uh, so that's the thing right. but yep thank you so much girls for doing this and thank you so much for taking out time on from your busy schedules for this so thanks a lot cool then people thank you so much i wish you all the very best and thanks a lot for taking out your time for doing this Uh, I'll see you all super soon. We all can say bye bye, and please ask them to subscribe and share and all of that. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye bye. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Yeah.